Uh, just getting us more details on that story. Joining us from Bengaluru, Pramod Madhav tracking the developments as far as the PMK joining hands with the BJP is concerned. Uh, first to you, Sagai, the JDS, in fact, seems to be not very happy with the seat sharing talks. In fact, many, many weeks ago, these conversations, these seat sharing talks between the JDS and the BJP had started. However, they don't seem to have a right at a conclusion. What is expected in the next few days, Sagai? The top leaders within BJP feel that there is no headway in this particular alliance. They have escalated the issue with SD Kumaswamy when he held a meeting yesterday. In that particular meeting, they said that uh, it is just an initial stage and uh, the BJP is not taking uh, JDS in, into confidence whether it is uh, uh, the finalizing of the candidates or any kind of uh, campaign or public rallies. They said that they've been left out. Uh, they are not even inviting and then they are not even discussing with JDS about any kind of political development in the state of uh, Karnataka and they also said that uh, it is almost uh, a few days left for Lok Sabha election till now there is no clarity on uh, uh, seat sharing as well where Kumar Swami went on to say that uh, he did not struggle so much to get and negotiate with BJP for uh, two seats even if they contest independently without the support of uh, BJP they will win those two seats those two seats from Hassan and uh, Mandia. They are also demanding a seat from Kolar and Chikbalapur, but the still negotiation is happening with the BJP. Till now, the, uh, the BJDS has not announced, but yesterday, uh, Krishti Kumar Swami hinted of contesting from Kolar, Hassan and right. uh, Mandya district. So we need to wait and watch how it is going to turn around. Vijendra has also said that he has spoken to High Command as well as HD Deve Goda and tried to escalate the issue and convince HD Kumar Swami when it comes to seat sharing. That's right. You know, Pramod, as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned, a state with the BJP is yet to, in fact, gain a foothold. A small party in the state of Tamil Nadu, that is the Bharatiya Janta Party, tying up with the PMK. What we also hear is that Ramadas could be getting a cabinet berth if the BJP were to come to power, Lok Sabha elections. And that is a, going to be a repeat for Ramadas, given that he was also a minister, well, the health minister in UPA1, isn't it? Absolutely. He was the health minister in UPA 1 and in 2014 uh, during the NDA, like uh, NDA did not uh, go ahead with Jalalta and even though Jalalta had a complete sweep, almost 37 seats, one went for NDA's BJP, that was Prapon Radha Krishnan and the other one was Anbumani Ramdas. That was 2014 and in 2019 there was only one seat with NDA, even then AADMK was part of it and that was uh, OP Rabindranath and right now things have changed once again where the majors uh, like parties that were with AIDMK have decided to go along and join hands with NDA and this is a very important step because after Tamil Manila Congress, G.K. Watson, who was also a union minister during the Congress regime, now Anupamani Ramdas has completely decided to go ahead. He says that he has decided to go ahead and join hands to make sure that the Prime Minister Modi's rule continues and it benefits the uh, it benefits India. And this is the kind of explanation he has given. But this has come after a long and hard discussion that went for more than a week. We had like uh, a VK Singh in uh, Tamil Nadu, Chennai. He was uh, like here for like several days and the talks went on because there were like uh, also talks uh, claiming that uh, this uh, PMK can go ahead with AIDMK and form alliance as well. But finally, they have decided and in today morning around 6 a.m. only, it got finalized at Tailapuram. That is Ramadas's residence and PMK has finally decided to go ahead and there also they have got 10 seats, almost equivalent seats of what Congress party has got with DMK alliance. That much number of seats. PMK is the first party to get this much seats in NDA alliance for this year. Only after this, other parties, BJP will go ahead and decide how many number of constituencies would be provided to them.